look at this. There's chocolate chip and peanut butter there. I'm gonna do chocolate chip. Okay, you caught me. So I'll ask you, what possible improvement could be made to the bliss of a mouth-watering cookie? Well, what if you could pick up your phone and order a dozen of these right out of the oven, warm, delicious cookies delivered right to your door? Welcome to Tiff's Treats, where the corporate mission is as sweet as it is simple. Warm cookies, out the door, on time, and accurate with a smile. Meet Jeff Sarter. Director of happiness, yeah, I mean our number one goal is to make people happy. Sarter and the team at Tiff's Treats are committed to serving the company's mission with every order. That goal has been part of the company's culture since 1999 when two UT Austin sophomores started the concept. They started baking out of Leon's apartment and West Campus and delivering to the University of Texas and just kind of building their recognition with the students and the um, different organizations. Leon Chin and Tiffany Taylor started Tiff's Treats and it's an interesting story. Tiffany stood Leon up for a date. What she did to apologize was bacon a box of cookies and she left it on his doorstep. When he got those cookies, they were still hot and fresh. Cue the tasty aha <laughs> moment. I, I guess a light bulb went off and he thought if we could deliver cookies but have them be warm like this, there might be something here. Leon was right. Not even the Great Recession could stand in the way of warm cookies. We started uh, there in Austin and now we have 15 stores and this is our this is number 15 and in our 15th year. The business plan they developed targets areas with a strong corporate presence. We all know Las Colinas Irving is a very uh, well-developed area for businesses and office space. And so that's really where a lot of our business is going. But anyone with a taste for cookies is welcome to drop by or call. At Tiff's Treats, your warm, fresh, melty, tasty box of goodness is just a click or phone call away. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting.